Whoops, looks like my duper doubles rating went down a little bit after the Cincinnati Open. Oh, hey, how's it going? This is Webby, not Eddie. And I'm actually just about to go compete in a Battle of the Sexes doubles match for episode two of Webby's Duper Challenge. Oh, yeah. And this is going to be a fun one because I'll be teaming up with my buddy Mark Osborne, who some of you might recognize as my partner from some tournaments I've done in the past. And Mark and I are going to be competing against my friends Janae, who just so happens to be Mark's wife, and April, who was my singles opponent in the previous Duper Challenge video. And after checking everybody's current duper ratings, it looks like Mark and I are going to have our work cut out for us because April and Janae have a combined duper doubles rating of 8.174, while Mark and I have a combined score of 7.701. So should be very interesting to see how this all plays out. And if you're anything like me, you're probably very curious as to how the duper algorithm actually works, especially when it comes to determining what causes ratings to go up or down. So I had a chance to connect with Mike Forsley, who is a data scientist for duper, and he gave me some very interesting information regarding how it all works. So before we head to the location of today's match, I'm going to go ahead and show you how that conversation went. Hey guys, so I'm here with Mike from duper. So Mike, I noticed that the ratings for Myself and my partner, Mark, aren't quite as high as the ladies that we're going up against, April and Janae. How much of an impact is that going to have, the fact that they're a, a bit higher than us going into this? Yeah, that's a great question, and it's a question that we get every day, basically. So the the algorithm works less on win-loss and more of points scored and, and uh, an expectation that we set for points scored based on your ratings, or in the case of doubles, the ratings of your team versus the ratings of your opponent's team. So you can, your, your opponents, Janae and April, they can increase their rating in this match, even playing down against uh, you and Mark who have lower ratings. It's all about how you exceed or don't exceed our expectation for the number of points you should score. Gotcha. And is there any way to see like what those expectations are beforehand? Like, do you have visibility to something like that? I do. And um, I can pull up, uh, a, I'll, I'll pull up a few things if you don't mind me sharing my screen really quick. Yeah, for sure. Our algorithm, um, the framework of it is, is all about the percent of points you score versus expectation. So this figure on the lower right shows on the X axis, the difference between the duper ratings of doubles teams, and then on the y-axis, the percent of points scored. Um, and each one of these points represents a real result. I like randomly sampled real results from our, um, our database. This red line that I just overlaid over the points, that's the linear expectation of the algorithm. So what we're doing when we're rating you is we're taking one single result um, and we're saying, based on the duper ratings and the relative duper ratings of the two teams, and based on our expectation, the red line, did they exceed, which would be uh, above the red line, or underperform based on our expectation? So if I look at your specific results, here are your latest results um, that we are including in our algorithm to estimate your current rating. And you said you had a couple of results recently in the Cincinnati Open where you you sort of felt you underperformed a little bit and uh, thus your rating went down. So when someone like you asks me about their rating, what I'm doing is I'm pulling up this chart and on this chart, the black line shows their current rating. The y-axis shows sort of their, what we call raw performance. It's basically your rating for each match that you play and then the x-axis is just showing date. So what I'm looking for here um, is to see how your raw performance values are distributed above and below your rating. So if there's a problem with your rating and that does occur where players, um, we pull this up and maybe there's like their mixed ratings are all above the, the their mixed raw performances are all above the line and their gender doubles raw performances are all below the line. Um, that's can, what kind of an, a situation where we can we can sort of provide some insight where it's like, okay, you're right in mixed, you are probably uh, overperforming your rating, but the reason your rating is what it is is because you're underperforming in gender doubles. In your case, um, I can see how your Cincinnati open results did tug your rating down a little probably, um, 
But that's also kind of the nice thing about our rating is that you can see that your rating is still pretty evenly distributed uh, among your raw performance values. Whereas if we had rated you based only on these two most recent matches, your rating would be a lot lower and would be way down here. So it's this sort of underlying idea of expectations uh, that I would then use to give you information about uh, you know, your upcoming match. This is a completely different tool. Every time a player asks me about their rating and putting it in some sort of user accessible tool, um, so I've been working on this kind of behind the scenes and it's it's far from finished, but the sort of mechanisms in the code underneath it are there. I just basically need to make it easier to use and, and help it look nicer. <laughs> gotcha. But you can see that if we type in your duper ID, and one thing I'm going to be doing is having it so people can just type in their name because uh, we know that not everyone uses their duper ID. Right. Um, you can see here's that same chart uh, that I just showed you, the same exact chart that I use. Here's a table of your raw results. Um, these raw performance values in this far right column, this is that raw performance that match specific rating that we use uh, to estimate your rating and which sort of shows how you're exceeding or underperforming against expectation. Um, because we want people to be able to come in here and look the other kind of cool thing about this tool is the head to head tool. So I think that's like, this is the, the end point of, of the question you asked, which is what are the expectations for me in this upcoming match? As far as like the algorithm and expected points percentage, what do I need to do to increase or decrease my rating? So we built this tool. What we envision is, is for a player to be able to come in, enter their name, enter the name of their teammate, enter names of prospective opponents, and then the output, this little mini table below, just shows the what we call the duper difference, which is just the sort of average difference between the ratings of the players on each team, the expected win probability. So you and Mark have an expected win probability of um, about 31%. Um, like you said, you're rated lower than your two opponents. Um, and then most importantly for your question is this expected points percentage. So this is our expectation. Basically, we expect you not to win. It doesn't matter really if you win, lose. What matters is if you and Mark exceed an expected points percentage of 38% of your points, if you exceed that, even if you lose, if you, if you score 39 or 40 or 41% of the total match points and still lose, your rating will still increase because you're falling above that line, our linear expectation for points scored. Gotcha. Okay. Alternatively, your opponents, Janae and April's expectation is to score about 62% of points. So again, even if they if even if they win Janae and April against you and Mark, um, they still have to exceed this 62-ish percent threshold of total points scored to increase their rating. And if they fall under that, then their rating will go down. So the, so if there's one main takeaway from this discussion, it's just that uh, our, our rating is most easily understood by thinking about sort of the percentage of points scored and the expectation, because we get a lot of questions about, you know, if I won last weekend, why did my rating go down? Uh, or how can I ever increase my rating if I'm only ever losing to higher rated players? And the answer is um, you can increase or decrease your rating in any match uh, based on the percentage of points scored. I like it. That's great information. And I'm very glad that smart people like you are working on getting the ratings systems fixed because as everybody knows, the current rating systems that have been out there for a while are very, very broken. So I'm glad people like you are out there doing this. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> yeah, of course. And I also want to make the point that we we know our rating isn't perfect. And that's sort of the reason why I, ha I have all this existing code to look at these these mm -hmm. specific cases. And, you know, we're, we're discussing potential changes to the algorithm um, and how we deal with these expectations every single day. Nice. I like it. So this uh, the duper lookup tool, um, when do you expect that to be something that, that users will be able to use to look up the comparisons like that? 
Good question. I imposed a deadline of tomorrow to have a <laughs> updated draft <laughs> or to my uh, superior. So soon we'll do a little bit of work trying to make it look nicer. But the biggest thing is just getting it so people can type in their name and then we can put it out into the world and keep improving on the sort of look of it as we go. Nice. Yeah, that'll be awesome. And who knows by the time this video actually gets published, the tool might be live if, might things, be, yeah. if things go as quickly as you're hoping they will. <laughs> yeah, that would be actually kind of cool because then I could look back and see how much it changed. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is great information. Thank you very much for going over all that. And uh, one of the most important things I got out of this conversation is I now know that Mark and I don't have to win, but we do need to get at least in the, the high 30s percentile of the total points scored in order for us to bump up our scores. Does that sound about right? That sounds right. It's it's more achievable than constantly having to beat higher rated opponents to increase your rating. You just have to perform a little bit above expectation. Gotcha. All right. Well, I hope you're ready, April and Janae, because Mark and I are coming for you. <laughs> Pickleball addicting and fun, that's no joke. Pickleball and it's not just for old folks. Pickleball. Pickleball.